Grant High School, Portland, Oregon, 1960. The head coaching position at Grant's basketball program had recently been vacated. Edward Rooney, who had only coached at smaller Oregon schools, such as Jacksonville and Medford, applied for the job of head coach and was hired. Sure. Ed Rooney uh, came in in 1960, I think. Is that right? 60, 61. He uh, succeeded Paul McCall. Tough shoes to fill. Uh, did an excellent job, had some outstanding teams. Rooney made an immediate impression on all of those around him. I was very impressed with him. He was a big, powerful man, very direct, made strong eye contact. You couldn't break eye contact with him even if you wanted to because he would just lock you in. Um, and you pretty much knew that no matter what he said, that's the way it was going to be. But those who came to know him found his soft side. When I get dramatic, like, what are you doing? What are you kids doing? I'm going to get my belt out. I'm going to get the belt. My dad would always say that, the belt. That was always his threat. He'd start pulling at his belt. I'm going to get my belt. Um, he had a great sense of humor, very quick wit, incredibly intelligent, uh, and could see through most any situation, and he had a lot of social courage. So he just said what was on his mind within uh, uh, reasonable uh, realms of propriety, and you took him seriously. And he coached, he started in towards the late 60s, he ran into problems that a lot of other coaches didn't have. Yeah. And uh, it was a sign of the times, things were kind of exploding in, in the country. The 60s were a difficult time for America. The Vietnam War raged overseas, killing thousands of Americans in what many believed to be an unnecessary campaign to halt the spread of communism. Unrest broke out in Portland, including the Albina riots over race-related issues. The Grant community was on edge. Uh, race problems, uh, uh, war protests, etc., and that drifted here to Grant. There were said to be riots happening in Grant Park. <laughs> that was dramatic language. So we were told not to walk through Grant Park. Quite frankly, in those days, Grant was seen as the white high school that had a few black token athletes those of which had, who were there had to be good or else you just didn't get to be on the team. Uh, if you take a look at our team picture, there were only three blacks on the team and all of us had to start. Rooney enjoyed a run of successful teams from 1960 to 1968, but 1969's team became known as a special team, on and off the court. Uh, Coach Rooney, I believe, was warned not to have any black players in the starting lineup, not to have any black players on the team. I won't tell you what he told them to do, but you can take a good guess, right? One of the players' parents complained vehemently that they felt that the black pair, players were going to break down under pressure and that somehow or other we would not be able to uh, withstand the rigors of the type of competition that we were going to go through in order to uh, become champions. Um, there were people in the newspaper who wouldn't vote for our team as uh, being the number one or the best team in the state at that time because we had black players starting. Uh, and they were open, they talked to Coach Rooney about that sort of thing. He sheltered us though. He did not tell us uh, what he had been going through or the type of uh, pressure that was being placed upon him by not only parents but people in the newspaper and the media. Come on. Rooney came under fire from the media for starting black players on his team. However, the abuse didn't reach the home front until one day, a cross was burned on his lawn. But as far as the cross burning on our, on our front lawn, that was, uh, that was very dramatic because the scar was there, you know, the, the, the burn mark was on our lawn for, you know, a month or so. Um, and I didn't know what it meant, I just knew there were some bad people <laughs> that were <laughs> angry about something. How did your dad react to that? Oh, he, you know, he, he tended not to be dramatic about stuff like that, just downplay it, and just like, it's just a cross that burned on our lawn, and so life goes on. The problems with race did not affect Rooney. He continued to do what was best for the team, coaching as if nothing had happened. It's a good team. Uh, once again, he stressed really hard ball uh, movement 
Everybody gets a touch, everybody gets a shot, everybody's happy. He began to uh, recognize what we were best at and he put us all in positions where we could succeed. Yeah. And uh, he persevered. He started, I think, three or four uh, African American players. They were outstanding. The Lincoln brothers, um, Big Bill Flowers, uh, they beat Madison 52 to 47 after trailing most of the game and rallying in the last minute or two to win the state championship. He was caught up in a lot of things and he persevered, got through it, and, and all he cared about was kids that could play basketball and he could give a damn less what color they were. Thank you.